What's up, guys? Yes, we are finally back. Took a little bit of a hiatus and stopped creating videos for a while. And in this video, I want to kind of get into that. But at the same time, since I was out this morning riding the bike, I had a fork seal blow, and that thing is, is leaking bad. So today we're gonna to talk about the hiatus while I tear the bike apart and get that front end rebuilt. But before we do any of that, I need to get changed, and I also need to get a table set up, so let's get that going now. All right, now that we are all changed, table set up, a lot more comfortable, we're gonna start on the bike really quick. The one disclaimer I do wanna mention now is I did happen to lose the external microphone I had for my camera. Not really sure what to do with it. I think I left it at somebody's house. I'm gonna reach out a little bit later and check on that. But nonetheless, we're still recording, but the audio might not be nearly as good as it normally is with the onboard mic. So is what it is. You know, I, I didn't really create a video explaining my leave of absence or what was gonna happen or why I was gonna stop creating videos because the last video that I output on you know, Instagram and probably even YouTube was about how I wanted to focus more videos and more content for Instagram and, and YouTube. And that kind of came to a, an end really fast. And part of the reason for that was finances. My wife and I sat down and did a realistic budget as far as what we needed to live, pay bills, that, all that, you know, that good stuff that everybody loves to do. We decided okay, let's go back to work and then we will work on building something bigger that we can step away from our nine to five job and take on something else. When we made that decision, I kind of hit the, the job hunting very, very hard. Um, I stopped creating, I mean, I would say I stopped creating any kind of content. I focused more on pictures, things that were easier to develop. Um, so I, I really got into the photography stuff, which I'll go ahead and roll some of that stuff on the screen now so you guys can take a look at that. And I really got into it. I really started to enjoy it, experimented with different lenses, different setups, different tripods. So yeah, before we get into the job, let's go ahead and kind of talk about what we're doing here on this bike really fast. The first thing we're gonna to do to it is we're going to head and lift the bike up and kind of take the frame apart. Now, I'm not gonna go deep into how to work on a motorcycle or how to rebuild the front end. There's tons of videos out there on I'm doing this. Um, I'll, I'll link my favorite video in the description below. So just bear in mind, this is not a how-to video. This is more along the lines of me just doing this while I'm talking to you guys. So first up is jack the bike up, get the fork leg taken off. Okay, now the bike is lifted, the front end is torn apart. We've got this left fork leg off that is leaking. Let's see if we can show you guys. You can't tell, but this fork leg is leaking pretty bad. So the next step after this is to drain the fluid and tear the fork apart and get that seal replaced. Super easy, super quick. I'm gonna tear it down and inspect everything inside just to be sure. Uh, but before we do that, we mentioned that I needed to try and find work and I have. Fortunately, I found a position at a company that will be really nice to kind of help creativity, help the YouTube channel, it'll give me more freedom to do that stuff. Uh, I do want to develop a photography portfolio, maybe create a website, you know, kind of keep that going. Um, I have some goals for that time once I do. So anyway, let's get this fork front apart. Next step is when I drain the fluid and tear it apart. I will loop back with you guys when we're done. Okay, so all the fluid's drained, forks are disassembled. I'll inspect everything. Honestly, no damage in this. Kind of diving into my camera setup and kind of what's happening with all of that. I did switch to the A6300, which I believe I was making some videos on with before I left. The problem was I didn't really know how to use it. I was using the auto functions in the camera a lot and you know, you're getting mediocre, getting mediocre video and photos with that. So I kind of started practicing around watching videos, kind of taking some tutorials and learning how to actually set the camera up appropriately as far as the motor vlog set up on my helmet. I did recently switch to this Bell Qualifier helmet and I absolutely love it. I've got a Lexan FT4 on there now. And man, the audio on that thing is amazing. I do plan to do a comparison video of this FT4 compared to the Sata 20S. So look for that video coming up. Um, I am super excited for that. So this Bell Qualifier, I love it, but the problem is 
don't have a moto blog set up on it yet. Hopefully before the end of the month, we will be back on top of that. Um, but that's it as far as, you know, real camera gear goes. As far as the bike is concerned, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and throw the single fork leg back together and then we will talk about the bike. All right, so this is fully assembled finally. Um, after further inspection, kind of found it to be something super silly. Um, the headlight ring on my fairing that goes around the headlight, little rubber gasket deal, flew off on the other day. Unfortunately, I happened to catch it like it landed in my stomach area. So when I got home that night, I just, you know, went to go put it back on with some super glue. And it looked like I dripped the super glue down on there. And then when I went to ride it, it forced the super glue down into the seal. That's kind of what caused everything to start leaking. As far as the bike's concerned, a couple of changes we made, very minor. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we switched sissy bars. We had the hard, rigid mount sissy bar that was about 24 inches tall. Went ahead and switched over to a quick release system so that way I don't have to run it right, when I don't need it. I just pop it off, pop it on. So, other than the sissy bar, we had some issues with the seat. The seat snapped in the center, the spine of it broke from some of the wheelies. Obviously, I'm a heavier guy, so getting deep in wheelies is, is pretty hard on the seats that I choose to run. So it ended up snapping the spine in the center of the seat. And then from that, it caused issues to my fender. My fender kind of flared up and had some issues with the seat mounts. Um, but the most noticeable issue I was having was when I would get up in a wheelie, the nose of the seat would pop out from under the tank. So that caused a lot of problems for me. I couldn't do very many wheelies at all. Uh, it was super frustrating. I ended up reaching out to the manufacturer, sent them a couple of videos, and they just told me, yeah, you know, the. Um, the spine on the back probably broken. Go ahead and ship it out to us on you. We'll go ahead and repair it or replace it and then we'll ship it back. So the seat has shipped out last week. Hopefully I have it back by the end of this week and then we'll be back on the, the saddle and the seat. But until then, if you can see in the video, we're running a solo seat and that thing is so uncomfortable and so sketchy, but nonetheless, um, it is what it is. At least we can ride, I guess. And then we also added the clear handguard that you see on there now. Um, nothing very exciting. So let's go ahead and get this front end of this bike put back together and get it sat back out on the ground. And then we'll wrap up with you guys. All right, well, the bike is back together. So that is it for this video. In closing, we plan to try and come back and at least do a video once a week. That's our goal anyway. Um, whether or not that happens, we'll find out. One other a note I want to mention, um, I did do some weird stuff and I switched my Instagram again. So if you want to go ahead and swing over there and take a look at that, I will leave a link in the description below. I will also run on the screen now. So new Instagram account, um, head over there and take a look at it. Appreciate it. As always guys, like, subscribe. Thank you.